Hello I am a liberal reporter and today I will be interviewing David Gummer here on YouTube's David Gummer's channel. Thank you Miss Liberal Reporter you can call me David and he'll be happy to answer your questions. So let's get to it. You're a survivalist, correct? Yes I am. So what makes you such a authority on survivalism? I am a second generation survivalist and a lot of what I know about survivalism has been known for thousands of years and was common knowledge just a hundred years ago but has become discarded by today's society. I have trained and studied the subject my entire life. I have read hundreds of books on every subject you can imagine. I have learned cooking, sewing, organic gardening, canning, firefighting, carpentry, welding, self-defense and have had emergency medical training. So you are antisocial live in a bunker in the middle of nowhere with a stockpile of teen years of food and have a arsenal of hundreds of dangerous weapons and thousands of rounds of ammunition. No I am very sociable I love to have friends and family over for dinner as I am a great cook and enjoy cooking Cajun food with a Tex-Mex twist. I live in a normal house just outside of Gatesville, a small town in the heart of Texas and I don't have 10 years of food stockpiled but I do have a month's supply of food and water in my home. And firearms are only as dangerous as the person holding them. And I only have a few firearms in my home, a 12-gauge Winchester Model 1300 for home defense and a Winchester Air 722 in my bug-out bag and I only have a few hundred rounds for each in my home. I take it that you don't keep everything you have in your home? Of course not. Most of what I have is squirreled away at my various bug out locations some of which others know of and if there's a SHTF situation they know to break the lock or to dig it up. What is survivalism? Survivalism is a movement of individuals or groups called survivalists who are actively preparing for disruptions in local, regional, national or international social or political order. How do survivalists prepare? By stockpiling food and water, learning self-defense and self-sufficiency and, and having emergency medical training. What do they prepare for? Every survivalist has their own reasons to prepare but the most common prepared for events include natural disasters, such as fires, floods, tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes, blizzards, severe thunderstorms and a sun-caused electromagnetic pulse. A disaster brought about by mankind, chemical spills, release of radioactive materials, nuclear or conventional war, terrorism or oppressive government, the general collapse of society, resulting from the unavailability of electricity, fuel, food, and water, monetary disruption or economic collapse, stemming from monetary manipulation, hyperinflation, deflation, and or worldwide economic depression, sudden pandemic spreading through the global population, and widespread chaos from some other unexplained event. What advice do you have for anyone who is just starting into the preparedness or survivalist lifestyle? The first step I suggest is you take the time to do a little home study knowledge is the key. Learn to improvise. Learn to think on your feet. Learn new skills and practice old ones. Go to survivaltopics.com. It is a great site and the information is very good and believe it or not YouTube is a good place to learn from. I enjoy watching Damcab's channel. He is very informative and I like watching him as he learns new skills and grows from his experiences from a novice to a expert on preparedness. I like Yankee Prepper's channel and Analytical Survivalist channel for their sheer wealth of information they have and I like Sardi One's channel as he gets me leafing with the way he presents information or you can just do a search for what you are looking to learn. What do you suggest people buy? Don't go out and buy a bunch of useless junk. You have to become a MacGyver of sorts. You don't need a bunch of fancy doodads or a arsenal of weapons and thousands of rounds of ammo to protect your three cans of cream style corn. Don't scrimp on storable food or on your equipment just make sure you know what you need and how to use everything you have. And storable food is always your best investment. Mac and cheese I acquired in the 90s for 10 cents a box on sale and stored under ideal conditions is still eatable. And you will save money in the long run as food prices will always go up even in a depression. It seems like an overwhelming amount to acquire and learn. A rule of thumb is that the first 20% of what you learn and acquire will cover 80% of all possible emergency situations. It's the last 20% that you can spend a lifetime on. So are you preparing for the end of the world? No I am not. My preparations for that are complete by accepting Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. 
What I am preparing for are the bumps in the road of life that with a little preparation and thought are nothing more than a inconvenience. We are almost out of time Mr. Gummer so is there anything you would like to say to the audience in closing? If there is anyone in the heart of Texas area that would like to network or if you would like my advice after you have done your own research of course. You're welcome to contact me survivalist76528 at yahoo.com. Just remember that when it comes to survivalism there are very few right or wrong answers but I can give you my advice. Thank you Mr. Gummer for this interview. The capacity to think, understand, and reason. And to remain calm are your most important tools in any emergency situation. Cut in that say rap. I can't believe I had to interview this idiot survivalist. Everyone knows nothing like the things he talks about can never happen. Who turned out the lights? You turn them back on, you idiot. The lights are off all over the city. What do you mean the lights are off all over the city? Looks like a transformer blew up. You turn them on right now, that is impossible. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Bawada. 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 Bawada.